Thank you for visiting Energy Suspension. Today we're coming to you from our R&D lab and we're joined by our R&D manager, John Burke. Today we want to talk about body mounts. Every vehicle on the road's got a body mount, but it's a little known part in the car that's going to protect your ride and the stability of the vehicle. John, can you give us a little more insight into what a body mount does? Well, on this Jeep TJ frame, um, it has a number of body mounts and the body mount is typically a piece of uh, elastomer that is supporting the body completely up on the frame. So these are exposed to the weather and they typically fail um, by what's known as compression set. So these will, after a time of being um, pressed on by the body and the weight and the loads that the vehicle is carrying, those will typically take a set and they squeeze down and squeeze down and you'll lose body ride height as a result of that compression set. They will also degrade due to the weather. You know, they may become uh, checked. They may start to become brittle and cracked from environmental failure. And once one of the body mounts degrades, it is then overloading neighboring body mounts. So it's intensifying their failure, and that failure is spreading across the entire vehicle. So one of the things you'll notice is that the body will be swaying when you're driving the car, and it will feel unstable because the body is shifting on the frame as you're driving the vehicle. Um, we engineer body mounts back to OEM standards for the ride height. We generally match exactly the durometer and we take advantage of the urethane material which has uh, a number of uh, important load carrying, cycling, chemical mm -hmm. resistance, heat resistance, a number of those areas that are superior to the OEM elastomers which are provided on vehicles. Especially older vehicles like this particular example right here. So body mounts need to be replaced as a matter of consequence, especially on older vehicles. They're very likely degraded after eight years, something like that. In order to restore your vehicle's performance, maintain uh, a nice vibration resistance, good secure control of your vehicle, you want to take a look at replacing the body mounts on your vehicle after some time. And if you're a truck driver, um, you're towing boat, horses, construction trade, <clears throat> is it true that that load from the trailer puts extra stress on the rear body mounts? Absolutely right. The, the, usually the trailer hitch is connected to the framework. Um, if you're putting loads inside the body, right, in addition as part of that, um, you're going to be adding loads increasing the stress on certain location of the bushing um, and you're going to want to keep an eye on those in particular. Um, as these sag out, the ride becomes a lot more um, harsh, especially as they sag down. Now you're starting to have areas of the body contacting areas of the frame, um, especially as they break and age. So uh, it's a good practice. Uh, to keep an eye on them occasionally and to make sure that you change them out when they start to be great. So if your vehicle, you drive a truck, you haul a boat, you haul, you're in the construction trade, your truck's eight years or older, and that ride's starting to give way, might want to check those body mounts. Thank you for visiting Energy Suspension.